Hey guys, I'm Mari Ray and welcome to a Sims 3 current household video. Now I want to start this video off with an apology. I sort of disappeared. I went a little bit MIA, but I'm dealing with some stuff, family stuff right now that I'm kind of going through. Nothing like super serious. It's serious for me, but it's not like I'm in like a lot of trouble or anything. It's just that it's, it's stressful and I can't really deal with like a too much going on at one time. I'm like work stress and then regular stress and then this added stress. It's about one of my doggies, my little puppy, and I love her to pieces and and as hopefully everything will go well and I'll be able to update you guys on everything that's going on but for now just know that I'm going through some stuff with her so I haven't really had time to sit down and do some recordings uh anytime soon at least the, not the adventure sim challenger i am working on a speed build in my spare time because though i haven't really had much time to do recordings that require heavy editing i i have been building a, a lot that i'm interested in for you guys to see i don't exactly know if i like it just yet it's a little bit uh boxy i don't know if that makes any sense but i decided to just do a current household video because when i am not playing the adventure sim challenge or doing any speed builds i'm normally playing with this family right here i've been playing with them for quite some time, so I just thought I'd show you guys what I've been doing in my spare time. I might also kind of make them a slate pilot for a, an idea for another challenge that I might want to do after the Adventure Sim challenge has ended, but for now, I'm just going to show you guys around with this particular family that I have. I'll tell you guys a little bit about them, and this will be my video for the week, and I do apologize. I'll probably be posting sporadically for the next few weeks as I'm dealing with all this stuff. Hopefully, it'll all be resolved. Nice, sweet, smooth, and simple, but I don't exactly know how it's going to turn out just yet. But this family right here is, I forgot exactly what name it actually says for the family household itself, but uh, this guy right here is the, one of the oldest, I think him and his wife are the, like, the same age, but his name is Damon, Damon Nair is his name. Uh, he's a slight, like, redhead, I guess. Let's just go down and take a look at him. He's like a slight redhead. He is a cop, and he just very recently completed his, uh, lifetime happiness, uh, which was to be an international super spy. He just completed that a little while ago, 20 days before his adult age. I do play with an absurdly long life stage literally all the time. I said it in the Adventure Sim Challenge. I was not lying. I do. I've been playing with these Sims now for quite some time like my young adult stage is 90 days and he started at the very beginning and he's got 20 left so i've been playing with him for quite some time but he is an international superstar spy and how much more about him he really likes to work out a lot and right now him and his wifey are here at a party this is his wife her name is reina nair and she is actually to totally preggers right now she is Pregonic, and actually I also play with a mod. Actually, I think I removed it now. Oh my god, did I take it out? That's not good. I play with a mod that allows for 15-day pregnancies. I hope I didn't take it out because I didn't mean to. I remove some of my mods when I'm doing a recording because they become too cumbersome to deal with. So I take them out. I'm kind of slightly rambling this video. I apologize for that, but... um. This is just me talking a little bit just to give you guys a slight update on what I've been doing in my Sims game. But this is Reina Nair, and she is his wife. They have been married now for quite some time, and their story starts off a bit weird. So all three of them were moved into this world that I'm playing in. It's like an altered version of Twinbrook that I sort of decorated myself a little bit. And I plugged in a bajillion Sims in here, like out of nowhere, but their family was like the three of, it was three of them. Her and her previous boyfriend, and then him who was their friend, and her and her previous boyfriend were together for quite some time, and they actually, she ended up like having a baby and got pregnant by him, and then he cheated on her with his boss, and she broke up with him and didn't want to get back together with him, and they, these two ended up hooking up and getting married, and this is actually her first son over here. Haliel, I'll go show you him him in a second. He has her first last name, which is Coda. So yes, yeah, so he has a different last name because he has her first last name. It's weird. It's like a complicated love story. And I put it together in my brain as she likes to write and she is a very good writer. I believe she's like maxed out her writing skill and she writes romance novels. Her previous boyfriend or her ex, um, where is he in her like people? This guy right here, Matthew, is, um, he is in the, uh, political career and he was not very into having a romance novelist wife or girlfriend or whatever so he ended up like you know having an affair and cheating on her or whatever and they broke up but they did have a son before that happened uh, she was still pregnant with him i believe when they ended up splitting up gotta let the household load i'll also show you around their house a little bit just 
that you get to know it. But this is Haliel over here. He is now in his child stage of life. If I could get the camera to cooperate. Here he is right here. Look at him looking weird and creepy and evil. But this is Haliel right here. He's the artsy fartsy type. He he likes to do artistic things. Does he not? I thought he didn't have a relationship with his mom for a second. But he's working on his art skill and actually has it really, really high already. And he can play the piano. He's learning the piano and all that other good jazz. But this is Haliel. Uh, who else do we have in the house? So this is actually his friend. This is a bizarre situation where I ended up moving in his friend. He is a witch and is currently working down in this lab right here. And he's still a child, yes, and he's working in this lab. But the story for this kind of goes, it's once again, it gets so complicated. My games are so weird. But basically, I plopped in a bunch of Sims, like I said, and his father actually ended up hooking up with the random girl that he used that that his best friend used to live with and that's who he's currently married to which is marches right here and now she's married to Haliel's father and it's it's crazy but basically this kid was just getting dragged around with them everywhere as they were having their own babies and all around the house and he's not even related to anybody in the house i just plugged a bunch of sims in to fill in the population of the world and i don't know i felt kind of bad for him so i ended up grabbing him and putting him into this family. So he's been living with them for a while now. He's like the best friend who's been staying here for a while. I, I just, I, I liked him too much to just leave him floating around. He's a witch. There are lots of supernaturals in this world. Actually, I think I have a few screenshots that I'll share with you guys towards the end of previous parts of this family. Don't have many, but I do have some. This is Damien and Reyna's son, though. Uh, Haliel's younger half-brother. His name is Dante. Yeah, Dante. And, uh... Yeah, he's a little cutie booty and she's currently pregnant again and they're wishing for another son so they're gonna have four sons in their life pretty much and it's gonna be wild like i was hoping they'd wish for a girl nope they're like more boys all the boys and this is mochi their little pup who is going through the wall isn't that adorable look at the oh my god that was horrifying do it again i can't get it to do it anymore that's freaking scary <laughs> Well, that's very pleasant. Freaky dog. But this is their dog, Mochi, who they adopted, I believe, when Haliel was still a baby. I can't even remember when they adopted her, but she's got 18 more days until she's an elder. She's living large. Right now, though, currently, they are out on a date at a party that they were invited to. The kids are at home with the babysitter over here, who I will give you guys a quick tour of the house, and then I will go and play for just a slight moment so you guys can see this family. This is actually the family where I tend to have issues with crashing in my game. So I've been rambling for like eight minutes now. I apologize for that. I kind of just need to ramble though. I haven't gotten a chance to do any type of like, you know, commentary for quite some time. So I'm just, I'm just ramba blambling now. Let's do that. I, want, I like that picture better. These are all of my pictures, by the way. So I've been taking pictures of the family and just sort of, you know, getting stuff together. It's really cute. This was their wedding photo. This is a picture of Haliel playing. Uh, this is uh, uh, his best friend, Noick. I didn't even say his name, Noick, um, playing the violin because he can play the violin. And their new bebe, Dante. This is Dante as a baby. This is Dante as a toddler. I unfortunately didn't get any pictures of Haliel as a toddler. I forgot. Uh, whoopsie daisy. But we're going to play for just a little bit. Hopefully I won't get any crazy crashing. I'm done talking now for a while. Oh, I was going to show you guys the house. You know what? I'll show you guys when they get back. You know, they're at a party. So normally I generally just play them like freaking... Oh, look, her ex is here and he's trying to flirt with her. Dude, what are you doing? You guys are not together anymore. You guys are not together anymore. No, she can't do that. They are, by the way mutually friendly with each other uh she does not necessarily like hate him or anything they've made friends they they've decided to be friends and they're pretty fine with that so you know on uh, her son though wait what you've got some issues and i'm not sticking around to deal with them because she's talking to him i guess that damon is a straight up jealous type and is like screw you buddy you talking to your ex or did this guy insult you? Is that what happened? You can go fight him. I'm pretty sure you'd win, Damon. You got like insane athletic skill right now. You'd probably kick his butt, but we won't actually do that. We won't actually do that, but they're all buddies. They're all friends. So uh, Haliel actually wants to be closer to his dad and he right now is not. So this is actually an old friend of theirs too. So why don't you go chat her up a little bit and go talk to her. Let's go ask her about her day, see what she's been up to. See, they're like old friends. Why are you constantly trying to hit on her? 
You guys are over. I thought you understood that. Maybe it's time to step away from him. Why don't you go talk to Emily Van Gogh? Yes, these are also Sims that uh, live in other EA worlds. I took them, fixed them up slightly, and then moved them into this particular world. So these are, in fact, Sims from other places that I fixed up, minus a few random custom Sims. Everybody has a crush on my Sims, man, I swear. Let's go see what Haliel is up to over here. Uh, wait, huh? Why does it have this guy's picture? She's faithfully committed to his... His? She's not a he! What is wrong with my game? Okay, whatever. You know what? She's faithfully committed. He is faithfully committed, apparently, because Reyna has turned into a dude. But that's something for another day. Let's let Haliel paint a new picture. Uh, he's out here chatting it up with the babysitter. She's just holding the baby, looking creepy. She looks so scary. Um, and by the way, if you're ever interested in why the kid sims in my game can do stuff they're normally not supposed to be able to do, it is because of a mod. I mod the crap out of my game all the time for good reason. This house is actually a good example. I told you guys I'd show you when I came back here. So this house is a house, uh, decorated by me without the restrictions on custom content and still with the restrictions of money. I am too lazy to actually update it anymore, but as you can see, there's custom content everywhere. I love it. I absolutely love custom content. I just try to restrict my usage of it when I am building houses that I am releasing to you guys because I don't want to flood anybody's game with an absurd amount of it, but there's still more decorations and stuff I intended to put in this house. I just have been too lazy to do it. So this is like the kitchen area and you have their like little dining room area where they eat. And then they have this little sitting room area in here. They got a video game and all this stuff and the dog leaves its toys everywhere. Computers and chairs and all that good jazz over here. And uh, this is the little study area where there's a paint place for Haliel to do his art. There's some seats and books here for doing research. These are all of mostly their parents' uh, skill rewards and um, high school diplomas over there. So they got that all decked out to the nines. These are the boys' rooms. They normally stay in here. This is one of Haliel's paintings. Um, they have a little TV and a little game in here. And this is where they sleep at night. Um, upstairs, there's another room. This was Haliel's old room before his friend moved in. I kind of thought they should stay together. So, and when his brother gets older, he can have this room as a child. So this is the bathroom in here, staring standard bathroom. But this is little boy's room. That was Haliel's room and will be his brother's room. Let's do this so we can see. So yeah, this is, oh my God, it turns off as soon as I do that. Whatever, I can probably turn the lights on. I just don't want to turn on, uh, can I turn on all the lights? Whatever, you know what, let's just, yeah, there we go, there we go, all the lights, there you go, all the lights. There is no light in this room. This was supposed to be the little baby girl's room, but they never wanted to have a little baby girl. So, so far it's just been this. Um, all of the stuff, by the way, was bought and earned over time with this family just making money on its own. It took a long time, which is why a lot of it is still in need of decoration because I would be holding off on updating the house until I got more money and then I would just be too lazy to do it. But a lot of these are pictures Haliel drew as he was learning his painting skill. Uh, so you can see all those around the wall, but. This can be his brother's room once he's uh, a child, since he's now sharing a room with his buddy who's staying with them. This is just a big open space. I don't know what to do here. Uh, I'll figure it out. I'm sorry. Once again, this is a ramble video. I do apologize for that. This is the little nursery. This is where his brother sleeps right now. I tried to make it kind of gender neutral so I don't have to remake a nursery every time they have a baby. So that's there. I intended for this to be a girl's room. They don't have one. Here's the parents' rooms up here. And if you go downstairs into the basement, this is an alchemy slash uh, witch brewery room because I freaking love supernaturals and I could never like not play a game without them because I have a problem and I'm sorry. But this is my little witch's coven room. I actually really like it. It's probably one of my favorite witchy rooms that I've designed so far. It's really neat. I got all these wicked like bottles over here and it looks so like earth tone witch type of deal. Really cool and I freaking love it. But uh, a lot of custom content in here. I really wish I could release something like this for you guys, but I wouldn't be able to tell you where part of this came from, let alone all of it. So I apologize for never being able to do something this cool for you guys on the channel, but just know it's possible and it's freaking awesome. This, I had all the intentions in the world of making a 
Nectary place, but I haven't had the chance to go to France to actually get the Nectary Maker machine. And then they have that little furnace in here. But that's their house, short, sweet, simple. I'm not going to talk anymore. Let's go back to playing now. And sorry for rambling, like I said. It's just been so long since I've been commenter. It makes me want to ramble and talk all freaking day, and I'm sorry. But let's go back over here, check them out, and see what they're up to. Is she flirting with her? Reina, what are you doing? You're cheating on your, your husband with this girl? This this freaking vampire chick? You don't even know her. Just just chat it up with her. Stop being weird, Reyna. My god, my sims, man. They're freaking wild. They run wild when I'm not paying attention to them. Just chat it up. You don't want to ruin your good reputation with your hubby. There's a baby on the floor. Okay, well, there's a little girl. And the baby's just crying, and I guess that's what's going to be happening here. So they're going to hang out at this party, which is boring, might I add. And there's no music or anything. Or it could just be I turned the music down. But if you guys want to kind of get a look at what I meant, this is an altered Twinbrook town that they're living in. They live over here. I think most of these houses are Twinbrook houses. I don't even know, but I added, like, a movie theater place over here there's a few clubs that i plugged into here a revised version of the grind and a warehouse club that i think i altered from somebody else's build and i made it into a club i don't know there's a lot going on here's the beach all the rest of the town everything's nice and swanky and cool and i got most of the lots in but not all of them this is an altered version of twinbrook so the swamp is not here i believe this is a cleaner twinbrook that i just took into create a world and made a few alterations to there's another club over here but not much going on, and this is generally what I do when I'm not playing the Adventuresome Challenge. Boring stuff, you guys, I know, right? It's like, nothing too big. His phone's ringing. Who's calling you? Do children get phone calls? Why don't you practice violin for a while? There you go, let's play violin. Uh, the hip young science teacher at Stray Community College, the recolorable version. Blah, blah, blah. I guess. Sure, he can do that. He's got to connect some beetles. He can do that. He's just going to practice violin. He's really bad at it, by the way. I said he plays it, but I didn't mean he played it very well. Ah, sounds like nails on a chalkboard. Gotta love it. And then our neat freak over here. I never showed you guys their traits, but straight up neat freak. And he ages up in a while, so they should both be teenagers pretty soon. Yeah, he's a little bit younger than Haliel, but they'll both be teenagers really soon. So they're gonna have a teenager, and his brother gets older in a few days. So his brother will be a little bit younger for a while. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What are you trying to do? Stupid NPC sim. I do have frequent problems with this save. I don't know if it's just because I've been playing it for so long. Did you guys see that? See, I, like, I frequently have weird issues in this save. Whoa! Oh my god! I'm not crazy. Like, you guys saw that, right? I think that this baby might be the demon spawn of Lucifer. Everybody saw him freaking out, right? Like, I'm not crazy. I'm pretty sure everybody saw that. You need to take some lessons on the violin, like, as soon as possible. They're at this party, and I'm pretty sure it's not that interesting to be at. Uh, it's getting a little late anyway. Why don't you guys head home? Uh, with just your wife, please. And you sh he normally calls his dad, like, once a day, because, I mean, he's trying to... He wants to be his dad friend. For a very long time, he had nothing to do with him. Like, when he was young, he didn't really come by much but uh it was kind of sad and as soon as he aged up into a child old enough to like be able to make phone calls he wanted to be friends with his dad so it was a little sad a, a bit sad but you know all right parents are home everybody's in and somehow they're back on another date by arriving at home but okay uh, your baby is hungry, so let's give him a good little feeding, and then let's, uh, let's let, uh, oh, he was gonna do it. She was gonna do it, but, uh, um, why don't you just go, like, eat? 
eat that. There you go. Just go eat some of that. Uh, these guys are tired, so they can go to bed. This is Hal's bed. This is Noah's bed. He can sleep. You can stop playing the terrible violin now. That's really bad, by the way. You should, you should take some lessons. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. Maybe you should switch to piano, like Hal. You know, get a little bit better. He just very recently moved in with them, so he, while he's had time to build his skills because I've been controlling him, he hasn't. So he has very little skills. I've been working on his logic and now his alchemy skill, but he had, and apparently he had dancing when he came here, but very few skills. Did you not give him food? What are you doing? Stop being a weirdo. Give him some food. And then everybody has to go to bed. Even the dogs asleep and you guys are still awake running around doing crazy things. Mm. I've never played with a family she like this him? size before. So all this is sort of experimental. I also mm. have a bit of an experimental idea that I want to try a little bit later for a potential challenge. You guys will mm. hear about it if I choose to do it, if it works out okay for me. But I just thought it would be fun to do this little video just to show you guys what I do in my spare time. I do play normal games occasionally of just everyday day to day sims doing their life the way that they normally do very rare for me actually and that's why i have so many supernaturals in the town just going through the people i know it's like witch witch fairy fairy witch vampire uh there are a few werewolves around town i don't think that they particularly know any of them but i always have to have supernaturals in my game because they just make the game so much more fun go give him a quick snuggle and let's put him to bed He's not very happy, and he is a very angry, angry boy right now. Mm. Oh, Daddy's me. got you, little one, with your weird yellow gloves, which aren't supposed to be there, but whatever, I'll leave them there. Does it say she wants to kiss her ex? Oh, she wants to tell Matthew to kiss him. You're scaring me, Reyna. I'm thinking that you're trying to, like, ruin your relationship. You've worked so hard for this, and he cheated on you. You don't want to go back to him, okay? You have been fine. He got remarried and everything, and I believe they're expecting a baby, so Hal will soon have a stepsister outside of this house. This is probably the wildest family tree drama that I've ever experienced in my Sims game ever, so this is kind of fun, playing a bit of a weird family tree. Bebe is asleep. Everybody's going to bed. Are all the lights stuck on? Just, 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 just auto lights, all the lights, just everything. I think that's why their lights are stuck on, but whatever. All right, everybody's going to bed. And I think that's a good place to stop. So this was not meant to be a hardcore video. It was just a sort of, sort of uh, short and sweet and simple what I do in my spare time when I'm not playing The Sims. I'm not going to have time to edit it, so you guys will hear all of my crazy ramblings, all of my bumping my microphone, all of that ridiculous craziness that I normally edit out of videos because this is just something I threw together just so I could have something to release to you guys and talk to you guys because believe it or not, I actually like talking to myself. It's kind of strange and I miss this, but I'll try to be back as soon as I can, as soon as all my family drama is all uh, sorted out and taken care of. Back to the Adventuresome Challenge, back to playing my weird game playstyle, and getting back to everything that's going on. But I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look and a glimpse into my world outside of challenges when I'm, I'm just playing my Sims game because believe it or not, I play it just to play it because it is freaking fun. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a like or don't. That is up to you. But I do hope that you'll join me next time for more Sims 3 here on the channel. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.